Well, it's October and I've got my hands full with some autumn paintings. Uh, this one I started about three or four days ago. And after a very long session this morning, I am seeing the issues here. I do like the way it's progressing. I wanted this to be very impressionistic. And one of the issues was I started to get a little too calculated with it. Um, for example, this side of the painting I like very much. It's subtle and everything. Over here it started getting a little too detailed. I did just fix it a few minutes ago a little bit after a very long session this morning. Uh, but now I do see more issues. Now for me the the progress of something is always a lot more interesting than the finished product. That's what I enjoy about this. Uh, or anything so what we have here this is wrong we got a very we got a vertical wall here and we've got these sloping lines here so this really needs to stick out to about there and about that high red it's the only red tree in the painting uh, but up against the darkest part of the painting that's gonna be nice so I don't know if it's gonna be the same tree or another one and here, this shadow needs to come in because this is too rounded and it needs to be the same. In fact, it should end right between these two trees, I think. That would be good. Um, the whole foreground of this is going to be covered in lily pads. And there's going to be a strip of lily pads catching the same light here. So that's going to be a nice juxtaposition against that dark. Um, and I've noticed while I've been working on it, I smudged the sky, so it worries me that I might have to repaint the sky because, believe it or not, it took me a long time to blend it and get it right. <laughs> it's like this dusk sky, so even though basically it's uh, ultramarine, ultramarine blue and white, there's violet, prism violet on the top, and the hooker's green at the bottom, blended. At the bottom, I made them a little darker you can probably see it so you get that robin's egg color darker here so to redo that i don't know that kind of worries me a little but so does this little bump here so and once i fix this triangle here i might have to do this guy anyway uh but there's going to be a big element here big print big uh, leaves and branches. So the fact that this is maybe a little too calculated might not matter because that's gonna be all impressionistic. And when I did the reflections just a little while ago, I didn't try hard to match it perfectly. I think it works the way it does. Doesn't mean it's finished, but I'd rather just, you know, uh, so hopefully I can keep it much more impressionistic. I know sometimes my landscapes, well, I'll give you an example. This one is the one I just did before, which is much more expressionistic and uh, uh, expressive uh, than, for example, this one. And even though this is kind of surrealistic, it's much more unrealistic I mean much more surrealistic it's much more realistic and to tell you the truth it was a pain in the ass and very tedious so the next one I did even just a few days later I wanted just to be really simple and not think too much about it this isn't done yet the uh, the tree line here is isn't right I have to bring it down and even bring it up uh, this highlight here a little too round a little too focused every time I look at the painting I go right to there so I want to bring that up, blur it a little bit more here. Uh, and these clouds too. And even though I like this space, this light band with the dark storm clouds and the dark of the trees in the field, it might be a little too wide. I keep feeling that there's something missing here. The trees definitely need to be brought up to about there. And maybe I'm going to put a cloud, a long cloud right there to kind of balance 
the composition. But anyway, like I said, after I did this one, I just wanted to uh, paint loosely. And I wanted to continue that with this. So maybe once I start the lily pads, it'll get that overall impressionistic thing. But I think it's going well. And that's it. Thank you very much.